Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and welcome back to FIFA 18 where today we are continuing on with this sort of tail end of the 2018 EFL Championship right here on FIFA 18. As you can see here, it's starting to get towards crunch time. We are actually still second. Unfortunately, we had a draw against Preston last weekend, but we came back with a win against Fulham midweek, which really helped our chances to sort of keep in the title race against Middlesbrough. So today's game against Sunderland, I actually went and watched this game today. That was the first time the sun's come out in a while. I must admit, I've been in the UK for like a month and a half now, and it was the first time that I didn't have to wear a jumper today, so that was definitely nice. Unfortunately, we drew 2-2. Two -two. Um, I felt like we were the better team at times, but Sunderland just scored an incredible goal. If you haven't seen it or haven't heard it yet, definitely go and YouTube that, because it was just, from where I was sitting, it looked like he'll never, ever hit one like that again. But anyway, that's real life. This is here on the official game, so we'll jump straight into this match and hopefully get another win. We're definitely going to need it if we want to stay in the title race. Now we... Actually, I might... Uh, no, fuck it, I'll leave it seem to be all right today. It's actually just going to change. I don't know if this is always stuck on flurries. Oh my god, what's that? Clear, hazy. This is the first time I've actually looked at the weather options. Flurries. <laughs> well, <laughs> they really advanced that. All right. Anyway, I just seem to always be playing in the rain. I don't know if it's just stuck on the rain or if it's <laughs> they've just set it to always rain on... Uh, the England football games, because, I mean, well, it's always raining over here, so, yeah, no, hopefully it is uh, a good end to the season for us in real life as well, we just need one more win, if we can get one more win, we'll avoid relegation, which is quite weird, because here on FIFA 18, we're trying to, <laughs> trying to win the title, so it shows how different the game is versus real life, but yeah, hopefully we can get a win here today, and in real life, next weekend against Sheffield Wednesday. All right, here we go. Hi there, everyone. Martin Tyler along with you today. Alan Smith's alongside me, and we've got a game from the League Championship, Alan. Yeah, hi, Martin. I'm really delighted to be here. Our match today is Reading against Sunderland. Reading are ready to go with this lineup. Vito Manoni starts in goal. Liam Moore starts with Paul McShane as the centre backs. We'll see how the striking option works with just one up front. we've got here, Alan, is a side that don't concede many goals and perhaps they don't score enough. That's down to the overall philosophy of the coach. Yeah, they don't uh, commit too many men forward. They work incredibly hard, I know, on the training ground in the week, on organisation, who's where at any given time, and it does work. Reading, a good side they look at the moment. They Thank won you. away their last game against Fulham. They'd finish 1-0, it was quite a, a close run affair. But I think they are capable of following up with another win today. And the referee for this match, Scott Duncan. Everything ready for the kickoff. Here's Edwards. Swift. Getting forward well as a team now. No nonsense defending from him. Swift. Chris Gunter. Can really get at the opposition here. 
And it's Williams. Played back. He's coming forward with some danger. Good vision here. He's in. And into the net via the post. Well, you're too young to remember, Alan, but they used to have square goalposts and a lot more came out than went in in those days. So, for the attackers, that's a, a bonus of the change in the technology. And in off the post. Yeah, and I think he deserved that, though, because uh, struck it well and right into the corner. Reading are in the lead here. Ball for Reading, number 14, Sonny Here's Williams. Alcon. Could be a chance here. They've got the ball into a good area. Good defending. Gidi. Really strong tackle, and the ball's gone out for a throw. They're on the move now. Lee Catamon. Matthews. On to the attack now. He's read that, hasn't he, and made the interception. Made it look easy, actually. Chris Gunter. Oh, he's good at cutting those passes out in that middle of the park. Leandro Bakuna. Here's Edwards. Chris Gunter. Still passing, but not really making inroads. Got the ball now under control and a chance to... Referees officiating properly here within the laws of the game. Quite entitled to give that as a free kick. Although early, sometimes the players expect to get away with it, I think. These days, going off your feet like that is running the risk of the referee taking serious action. When you attempt to slide tackle like that, you've got to time it perfectly, and he didn't. Leandro Bakuna. I like the look of this attack. Got the tackle in. Now Williams. Kone. Leandro Bakuna. It's a good way to nick the ball back. Quick thinking. The run through here in the end to the goalkeeper, disappointment for them. Swift. And it's going to be his throw here. That throw has literally tossed possession away. Possession to the opposition now. Aluko. Swift. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. Chris Gunter. Andrew Bakuna. Well, then it goes. 
Well, the goalkeeper will hope that it stays like that throughout the game. Well, they gave it straight to him, didn't they? Well, they could pose some danger now. Came in with a challenge. Very well won tackle, well up the pitch as well. The equaliser here. Keeper has reached it and rescued his side. And that's a corner for Sunderland. Corner's taken. And in the shot go. Superb save. He shouldn't have had a chance at all with that, but ooh, what about those reflexes? Brilliant. A goalkeeper who defies gravity, especially in slow motion. And he's a big lad as well. He fills that goal. He's put in the corner. Oh, charged down. Now he's looking for support. It was good play until they got that challenge in. A chance to break away now on the counter. Well, I don't know. The game's uh, played on the pitch, but not on paper. But on paper, this looks uh, a canter for the home team. They won so easily the away game. Yeah, I mean, a few things have happened in between, so I don't think we can take it as read that the result would be the same. That looked very good indeed, but the move has broken down. Williams. They've got numbers in this attack, and it looks dangerous. Hit in hard and low. Picked out his man. Shot blocked here. Oh, it's a corner by that deflection. It's a promising sit. He's got his shot off now. And the goalkeeper with a textbook save and keeps the ball in his grasp. And the goalkeeper positively off his line makes the ball his. And it will be their throw. Here's Williams, and here they are on the attack, going forward well. And now the shot! Sunderland awarded the corner. Swung in from the corner. O'Shea! Good work by the goalkeeper. This referee's got a good perception of when and when not to play the advantage. He's chosen to play it here. Want to use the full width of the pitch now, the team in possession all the time against a dogged defensive unit that they're... And he shoots from long range! Well, nowhere near. Uh, he was a long way out. Yeah, I think that's a waste to try his luck from there. Look at the manager. He knows that miss might just come back to haunt his team. They could have gone two up there. Good position here. It'll be a throw. Chris Gunter. Swift. Here's a chance to attack. Still got a bit to do. Shots on here. In the right place, rubbing the right there. Bit of space for him. Now out on the wing. Neatly intercepted.
Chris Gunter. This could lead to a chance. It's good attacking play. Got the tackle in. Magidi. Reading punished by the referee. Free kick. Yes, it is red. Well, sometimes as a ref, you simply have no choice, and that was one of those times. Sliding in and uh, taking his part in the game into uh, uh, a dangerous territory, really. Yeah, I think so, and it was a poor tackle, it was badly timed. Looking good, this move. Chris Gunter. McShane. That's a cross the field to try and switch the play. And they cut it out. That looked very good indeed, but the... Move has broken down. Chris Gunter. Leandro Bakuna. Good defending. Three minutes to be added on. Got the ball back by that interception. Chris Gunter. Aluko. Good forward play from them. And he takes it on with a shot at goal here. Now you could see what he was trying to do. Passed it into the net, but passed it off target, well off target. Well, we've got a, a battle within the war today, haven't we, with the player getting his track at his old teammates? Yeah, and I think it's always an emotional time when you face your former club, so he just want to concentrate on doing himself justice. So it's 1-0 here as the half-time whistle goes. I think that's a good performance, isn't it, Alan, from him in the first half? Well, he played really well, didn't he? And he got himself a goal to put his team ahead. He'll be pleased with that first 45 minutes. He's coming forward with some danger. Good vision here. He's in. And into the net by the post. Very well won tackle, well up the pitch as well. The equaliser here. Keeper has reached it and rescued his side. Corner's taken. Then in the shot, go!
Reading coming off the pitch. Referee just checking everything is in order. And he blows for the second half to start. Swift. They could pose some danger now. Pass one defender. Put into the middle. Goes for it with a fist. Still danger here, despite the goalkeeper's work. Well, we've got an angle on this uh, offside call. Alan, I must say, it is the most difficult thing in all the officiating, I think. But this assistant has got eagle eyes. Well, I certainly wouldn't want to do that job because uh, the uh, speed that players move now. As it turns out, what a great call. And it's Williams. Vaughan. Lee Katamar. Able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. Chris Gunter played down the wing, keeping the wide attack going. Not a threat at the moment, but they have got the ball, and that, I suppose, is a threat. Swift onto the attack now. Good work by the goalkeeper. And it's Williams. It's a super pass. He could be in behind. Shot off. The shot gets blocked. On the move and able to cut out the pass. That's great defending there, stopping that attack. Here's McGeady. Williams. They've set it up well for the cross. Looking for teammates in the middle. Manone. Swift. Well, for me, Alan, this guy's playing uh, really at the top of his game. Do you think so? He looks that way, Martin. He cannot get enough of the ball. He's dominating things out there. Well, more news on the injury from Jeff Shreves. He landed really heavily on his shoulder there. You can see the discomfort he's in. But he's a tough guy. I think he'll carry on. Thanks, Jeff. Spot on. Trying to lift it over the nearest defender, and he couldn't. Leandro Bakuna. Here's a chance to attack. Tried to tackle here, and he's done that. The shot's on! He's reached it and turned it aside. They've got to make a substitution now for this fella, because he's definitely hurt. With the owner of the blue car parked outside reception, please move it immediately. Williams. Thank you. This could lead to a chance. It's good attacking play. Lee Catamar. And it's Williams. That's a combination of skill and will. To... He's given the free kick. It's in a really threatening position too. They've decided to make a change. And being behind, you can understand that. Past the wall, past the keeper, and into the net. Great free kick. That was a goal of deluxe class. Oh, to get the ball up and down like he did was spectacular. It certainly was. Excellent.
Oh, the manager's giving some of his players a piece of his mind because it's been sloppy, and now the opposition have equalised. It is uh, level. Both sides have scored here now. Swift. And they've cut it out. Now Williams. Getting punished by the referee. Free kick. Well, this is going to be difficult for them, Alan, isn't it? They're already in trouble with the referee. And now they've got... Another yellow card here, which increases the pressure on this particular player. Yeah, I mean, discipline-wise, they've uh, not been at the best, making life really difficult for themselves. gone out for a goal kick that's a uh, tackles worth another look oh yeah I think the boy felt that This looks promising. So we'll restart with a throw in. Roy Barrett. The return ball. Now, can he take them on? Shot might be on, and the crowd thinking just the same. Now, where's he going to go from this position? Not too much on for him at the moment. Well, here comes the support. It's an excellent cross. Splendid header, superb save. Yeah, he got plenty behind that header as well. I think he thought he'd scored, but the keeper had other ideas. Catamol. Here's McGeady. Opportunity in a wider area. Grabs here. Supporting player alongside. And now the shot. Good work by the goalkeeper. Here's Ilori. Well, I like the look of this attack. opportunity if he picks out the right man and the goalkeeper reached for it but he didn't have to reach at full stretch made a bit of a meal of it there now back to throw well it's going to be a substitution now number 21 Adam Matthews to be replaced by number 2 Billy Jones Roy Barrett. Swift. Well, they could pose some danger now. Oh, he's cut that out well, well read. Vaughan. Roy Barrett. They've got numbers in this attack, and it looks dangerous. In with the chance. That's marvellous goalkeeping. Well, it's great. It's late, 
and it might well suit them. Not too long to go to defend this lead. No, you'd imagine that's the perfect time to get a goal. All about concentration for them now. Goalkeeper almost got there, but it wasn't a strong enough touch. Yeah, he's annoyed with himself, isn't he? Having got a touch on it, feels he should have done better. Sunderland have got to take this on the chin and try and move forward. They trail. Number 17, Modi O'Shea. Done well under pressure here to hold the ball as the challenge came in. Could be dangerous. Looked very good indeed, but the move has broken down. Chris Gunter. More news on the injury, and Jeff Shreves is the man in possession of the information. Physio saw it, he went right over on his ankle, but despite his concerns, he's carrying on. So, tough cookie, this guy. Jeff, I knew you'd know what was going on down there. An opponent around him, that's good screening of the football. Oviedo. The noise levels have gone up even more. And the scenario remains the same, the one goal lead, and we're into the last ten minutes. By the way things are shaping up, it looks like the home team are going to see out this lead, but still a chance for things to change. Delivered into the box. Played away, well away from goal. Williams. This turnover could be costly against a side that can break like this. Still progressing on the break. Well, then it goes. Swift. Please give a round of applause for today's man of the match, number 18, Jan Kermogan. Here's a chance to go down the outside of the opposition. Closing in on full time. And with the ball in this corner, it's a long way away from the goal that they're protecting. An example of excellent refereeing here. He delayed this punishment. He's going to show a card now but he wanted that previous attack to at least find its natural conclusion. Yeah, he's one of our more experienced refs, isn't he? And uh, I like watching him go about his work, and showed his experience there. He has got the opportunity right, to I apologise, I just totally realised my commentary had switched off and never even switched back on. <laughs> wow, I've just been talking myself for the last half an hour. Catamol. Awkward! Galloway. Oviedo. That's very good shielding of the ball. Just hold it, hold it, hold that it. Could have been the pass to determine the match, really. I was just going to say that that was the weirdest goal I think I've ever scored. Three minutes from the referee so just by the fourth official. That's trickled the off the line or over the line with time. the goalkeeper. That's good movement forward here. That's it, take it, Barrow, run. Run, mate, don't stop. It's a good cross. Good oh. stop by the goalkeeper. Probably oh, shouldn't have done that. Probably should not have done that. Should not have done that. They get it nice. away. Oh, shit. Well, this could be their last chance to salvage something from this No, match. don't hit it back. Woohoo! That's the end of the game. How the hell did we win with ten men? I have no idea. Tribute to their fitness and to their character, even though they didn't have as many players as the opposition, they've actually managed to win. Yeah, I must have just turned my mic off and, and I forgot to switch it back on. But and that was anyway, here. what a game! That was, was that was crazy. Best performer that really and a was good crazy. Team today. Yeah, maybe the difference between the two sides. No, do Barrow. Really solid, Super really sub. Good performance from him. Again, I don't, I don't really don't know how that ball went in. We just sort of forced it over the line, but with ten men, that's a good comeback. Coming forward with some danger. Good vision First here. First goal, nice and easy. And the net, just managed to see Aluko on the run there and put him in. Unfortunately, he can't do that in real life, but it was a 
celebration that is a first. I've never quite seen that one before. Very well won tackle, well up the pitch and then as well. The here. Sunderland came the back and somehow Minone kept a couple out. They definitely had more shots than us, but in the end it was McGeady's freak of a free kick. Bloody sensational. I don't know how he put that in, but that was a that was the first time that they scored. That well, that I can remember that we've been scored against on a free kick. I literally said right before he took the free kick. I'm not sure if my recording got it Trying or not. To I'll soon here. find He's out, but I wasn't sure if um, that was a great save. Aside. That was going in the right corner. That was a fingertip diving save. That was a really good one, but. Yeah, I literally said before the free kick here, I said, I, we haven't been scored against all year on the free kick, and then he goes and does that. <laughs> I literally touched wood. Don't even bother touching wood. I've got a wood stool next to me, and I touched it as I said that, and he still goes and fucking scores. <laughs> and this was just missed time. There was a few sliding challenges that where they just sort of, they hit it out the way. as, as Like, we're going for the ball, all fair, but they sort of have this thing these days where instead of taking the sliding challenge, they just kick the ball away. That was weird. That, with the okay, so this is the goal that we ended up winning, but it just sort of trumbled in through the goalkeeper's body. We'll take it. But yeah, no, that was crazy. All right, possession. We actually had 59%, even though we had 10 men. Um, what else do we have? Nine shots on target to their five. So our, pa well, our, our pass accuracy was 90%. There you go. 90% pass accuracy and 20 and 75% shot accuracy. So that's what won us the game right there. Accurate on goal and in the in the sort of field. Five fouls, two yellow cards, one red card. Probably not what you want. Liam Moore's uh, red card. That was just a straight mistake on my part. I don't know why I. Just trying to get the ball and well, was obviously nowhere near and close enough. Anyway, we'll head back to the sort of thing to see the result. Okay, so Middlesbrough did beat Bristol City, which means they will stay top as we are three points behind. English Football League Championship. But Aston Villa won. Have a look at the what United the tables won. are now. Let's have a look at what those results mean. Okay, for tonight's league so tables. with three games left the on the season, the we have officially achieved automatic promotion. They're only they're nine points ahead, so if they were to win all three games and if we were to lose, we'd still win on goal difference. So there it is. Automatic promotion achieved. We'll be in the Premier League. Well, we won't be in the Premier League next year next year, but um we will at least be on the <laughs> on my sort of series. Although I think I've decided, um, for any, for anyone that's subscribed and staying tuned with my channel, I think next year, instead of doing another full season with Reading and repeating the same thing that we've done this year, I'm actually going to um, switch over and do a a my pro sort of my career, like player career, where I play as just the one player and we'll go through the academy at, at Reading and through the, the bench at Reading and hopefully get all the way up to the to the Premier League teams and, and well, hopefully take Reading to the Premier League. That'd be nice. But, you yeah, know, it should be fun nonetheless. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed today's matchup. I think it was uh, not quite as stri Well, actually, it was just as stressful on my side of things as the real-life match was today. <laughs> but thankfully, we played a little bit better here than what we did in real life. All right, guys, until next weekend when we go up against Sheffield Wednesday over at Hillsborough, I will catch you guys later.